and we've got what should be a great one here as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Team set to lock horns for the right to remain unbeaten. And we're off in week four. And boy, a rough start to this one as this kick goes out of bounds.
We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today it's week four and we've got what should be a great one here as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on their in-state rivals to the south, the Miami Dolphins. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Lawrence going to put it up right away. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10. Here we go. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Fields. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. He'll buy some time. Oh, he tried to fit it in back over the middle, and it's intercepted. Now Abdullah will return. And the Jags are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. And that won't buy them much room, just a one-yard gain to the five. Now second and nine. Here's Lawrence. And his throw is incomplete. Well, we're pretty early in this contest with one interception was already battling in his mind how to handle it. Fortunately, that ball fell incomplete, and now he gets a chance to atone for what could have been a big error. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. A Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. In motion right comes Matthews. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow, they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. This defense for the Dolphins, they were quite formidable in the win over Philly a week ago. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Up the middle they go. Whittington breaks a tackle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And he's going to be brought down just shy of the 5 at the 6. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Now Lawrence to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 
So give him two yards there on the completion. And now we've got a third and three. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. A great effort there with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Jaguars go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Now the extra point. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. On the return, Jalen Waddle from his end zone. Oh, some strong running. Oh, good return up past the 30. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7 0 the score as they start first and 10. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The Dolphins sit 3-0 and here in the month of September. And they come in on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Now it's Fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 42. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. To throw his fields. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Now Chubb running right. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars 34. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Third and two, Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 19. Fields now to throw. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw, Fields. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball 
and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Chubb will score. Touchdown, Miami. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. They watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Now Lawrence on first down. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Boy, 30 more yards and another first down. The Jags with a football to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Whittington. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Play action. It's Lawrence. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll run on first down. Whittington. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. 45 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Lawrence will throw. Steps away to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. And down here, first and goal, if it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. They go play action now. Lawrence toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And now third and goal following incompletions on first and second down. Lawrence. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. 11 yards, but still not enough. Fourth down. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. Please, please, 
The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. Going quickly out to the right side. Touchdown, Jaguars. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Waddle going to bring this out of the end zone now. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. We have witnessed touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. We'll see if the offense can continue this uptick here. And I know you're looking at me funny. You're wondering when I'm going to get upset watching these guys go up and down the field, aren't you? I wasn't looking at you. I got something in my eye. Uh -huh, that's the excuse that Joe's. I'm with it. And right now, this is exciting. Oh, the defender likes it. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there for Jacksonville, and a first down as well. Now Lawrence. Left side, caught by Matthews. And that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. It's going to move him around a bit. Up the middle they go. Whittington shows his strength at the 50. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. 52 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. That was a good forceful run, and it demonstrates why you've got to put your body on a runner when you're trying to tackle him. If you just go in there and just try and get him down with arm tackles, usually doesn't work very well, and we saw in that play, he'll run right through those attempted plays. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. From midfield now, Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one.
Here's Lawrence to throw. That is caught. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 21. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. On first down, Lawrence. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Again, it's Lawrence. Complete. Well, it took a shot as he left on go. And it's going to bring up a third down. But it looked like a march to the end zone is had a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. The Dolphins, take over first and ten. the Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Fields. He'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 37. Fields. Going out wide, finds Chubb. He's in the space past the 25. They'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. On second down, here's Fields. He finds his man complete. It's Price. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So eight yards on the completion there, and now it's third and three. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here we go. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Here we go. It's there. Right. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. 15 seconds, all that remains for this first half as they come up first and 10. 
And they'll start with the option. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And his kick is indeed good, and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Waddle will return this from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. Here's Fields. And he whips that one incomplete there. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Throwing on third down, Fields. Locates Mooney on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Dolphins. Jalen Waddle with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Elliott good with a PAT, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Open man is Kirk, complete. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up second down. Here's Lawrence. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. 
It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Throwing again here, it's Lawrence. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now Lawrence. Throwing left side, it's complete. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jags have got it back to within a score. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well. His teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Waddle going to bring this out of the end zone now. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, after watching him ring the bell that many times and put the ball in the end zone, throwing it, you had to figure they had to bring some type of pressure. They had to change things up on defense. And able to get to him, put him on the ground, so maybe just something to throw him off a little bit. Yeah, that had to feel a lot better for the defensive guys. They've been getting carved up in this one. To finally knock him on the ground and force an incompletion, that's got to be a sigh of relief. Second and ten. Fields again. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Play action. It's Fields. And this one too low. This is a perfect example of what separates the elite quarterbacks. Has his man open, way too anxious, ends up firing it in there with way too much zip on it. The great ones, they know how to relax and put the appropriate velocity on the football. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now it's Fields. out to Chubb, complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 38-yard line. They give the Chubb out of the gun. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive, as this is third and ten. Fields now to throw. Almost 
gets to the 10. A good pickup there, 26 yards. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards. And he will take it in from Dolphins touchdown. Nick Chubb with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are able to extend their lead. Elliott good on the extra point. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Now this one complete on the slant route. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Lawrence on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Lawrence going to throw again. Here's a diving catch right side. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 41. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. He'll get this down to the 38. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Lawrence to throw on second down. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession. But the coverage held. It goes incomplete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down. He'll look to throw. Open target here is Matthews. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Lawrence looking for his running back and he's got him and he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six the six yard line the line of scrimmage on second and goal and he'll run on the inside handoff trying to find a lane but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more Close to a first down. Good running, but looks like he's a yard short. Oh, they're changing this at the line. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Jaguars have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. 
So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Lawrence going to look to throw for it. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Waddle will return this from the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Angel, Angel, Angel. Good night. One play action, Fields. And look at this, they get the turnover they need it, it's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And he will take this one home, it's a touchdown. This game, it's been defensively oriented on both sides, so I guess it stands to reason that the play of the game comes on defense. So it's my kind of game. You know that. That's anytime right. we that's have a right. defensive battle, but that, as you said, it stands to reason that's the way the game tilted. Someone had to make a big play, and the way the defenses were dominating, that's exactly what we got. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and throw for it. And no, incomplete. They can't convert. So they try to bump the lead up to a field goal. Instead, it stays at one here in the fourth. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Waddle going to bring this out of the end zone now. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit. And they need this drive to end in points. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 36 yards on the play. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Back to throw, Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's another first down. I'm going to be a gain of 21 yards. Play fake, now Fields to throw. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Josh Allen, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run and, of course, get to the quarterback. 
Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good. Solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. Throwing on third down. Fields. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Had an open man that time. We ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The kick by Elliott is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could... Oh, a bad time late for a poor throw. It's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. They'll try and wind down some clock with Chubb. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good go. chance go. of ending up winning this game. From the 48-yard line, here's a second and seven. Right. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields flushed out right. And he'll slide to a hole. Here, still a little shy of the first down marker. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. The battle in the trenches never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Now here's Fields on the sneak, and he is going to have the Dolphins first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. From the 37, they work on second and six. And again, it's Chubb. 
And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Back-to-back -back four yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way downfield, ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. Now they need two, here's third down. tight ends, extra beef, they want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. The kick by Elliott is good, and it will push the lead up to five. Well, they're able to come away with the interception, Charles. They aren't able to move the ball all that much. However, they do get three out of it with a field goal. Yeah, and anytime you do force a turnover, you have to come out of it with points. Everybody wants six. They'll take the three there. Now it's their opportunity to do it again. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. They'll come up first and ten here. Back to throw. Lawrence. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They'll come up now on second down. Throwing now, Lawrence. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understanding where they are in the field? Lawrence. This is caught. It's Kirk. And yeah, he'll be out just a... Shy of the 30. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Here's Lawrence. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. He'll look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Five seconds. No timeouts. Here we go. Shot now for Lawrence. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes. You can read his hands. 
and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. One final shot. They'll look to throw. This for all the marbles. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. 